Now, if you live in an apartment and don't have charging at home, or even if you're out and about and you need to get a quick top up, you can do one of two things. You can do this, you come to a place like Blush Lane and you charge for the half hour, 45 minutes that you're here and you can get, I don't know, maybe a few percent. But there's something else you can do and I'm gonna share that with you. I'm Ryan from Rocky Mountain Tesla and we're sharing the data because it's electrifying. It's helping others make the choice to go electric. So I've been here about 15 minutes or so, and I've added about a kilowatt hour. So that's only about 2%. If this is our only means of charging, this would be a real problem. There is something else you can do, and I'm going to show you in a minute. We gotta take this guy for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> yeah. Now you're probably thinking, Oh, you're just going to a supercharger to top up. But here in Calgary, it is a long way away from the city center. And I would actually use about 10 to 15% of my battery anytime I wanted to go and supercharge. For example, the return trip is using nearly 30% of the battery. So about 24, 25% of the battery just to do the trip on this cold day. There has to be a better way to do this. But first, I'm getting out with the dog. We need to go for a walk. We've done our walk. Let's go. So, here it is. Chatamo. So we are just at the Ikea. Well, a little ways from the Ikea. And right next to this shop, we there is a new Chatamo station here. And with this adapter, we're gonna see how good the charging is. It's only 50 kilowatts. So yes, it's a lot less than a supercharger. I have it set to go to the supercharger to see if uh, preconditioning the battery for fast charging would actually help. We're at 40%, so it's not going to be the best rate. This is a realistic scenario where I might wanna to top up for about the same amount of time that I might normally top up somewhere else, just to see how much more of a charge I can get in that same short amount of time. Of course, when you know it, I didn't park in the exact right spot and it's a little tight, so I have to move. First, I started the session in the Flow app. These Atco Flow chargers, it's the charger on the left that's the Chatamo station. So here it is. I plugged it in, I hit the start button, and it is charging. Let's just see how quickly it's charging. At a 40% state of charge, I'm getting about close to 300 kilometers an hour at 40 kilowatts. So it is possible that using the preconditioning feature to drive out to a Tesla supercharger is actually helping a bit. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty cold out. Uh, it's minus six, and it might otherwise not charge that quickly. So, 40 kilowatts, not too bad. I'm actually only going to charge for 15 minutes, the same amount of time, just to see how much more I would get with a Chatamo charger versus a level two charger. I've been here less than five minutes and already added six percent and it's been consistently at 40 or 41 kilowatts charging rate, which is pretty awesome and will prevent me from having to consider going to a level two charger here and there. I can use the DC fast charger here once in a while, not all the time. It's obviously not something you wanna do regularly, but on those occasions where you would like to maybe top up 20%. I'm guessing it'll be close to 20% in the time that I will be here. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep track of this and share the data uh, of the Tesla Fi charging uh, for this session and as well uh, a bit for the other one. It was actually 19 minutes that I did level 2 charging, added all of 2% or maybe a kilowatt hour. And this is much better, more convenient on the way, no going way out of my way, just to get 
uh, some extra charge at a Tesla supercharger because they are so far out of the way here in Calgary. Really Tesla, where are the superchargers for Calgary? Balzac, Strathmore, the majority of us live somewhere close to the city center. It really is inconvenient to get a top up anywhere if you live in an apartment or a condo. If you have charging at home, this isn't an issue, but this is a problem for the rest of us who want to go electric. So it looks like we've added 22%, 11 kilowatt hours in a little over 15 minutes and about $5 Canadian for, for that charge. And it's still charging at 41, 42 kilowatt charging rates. So this is awesome. How many people take 15 minute breaks here and there when they're doing some errands? This would be really useful if it was everywhere. Don't forget to subscribe to Rocky Mountain Tesla. If you want to keep watching, check out these videos on charging.